Hey guys, my name is Thomas, and today I'll show you guys a day in my life as a junior electronics engineer in London. To give you guys a brief summary about my company, the company I work at is called Garrison. Garrison is a cybersecurity scale up in which uses HardSec technology as their forefront security system. HardSec technology is a practical approach in which it uses FPGA devices to deliver effective security threat elimination using a non-tiering machine implementations. Since I've introduced myself and the company, let's go into my day. I like to wake up at around 7.30 a.m. Depending on the day though, I'll either get to work by 8.30 or 9 p.m. As my company is quite flexible in terms of working hours, as long as you are in the office and do work for 8 hours. As soon as I arrive to the office, I go through my company email and see what emails I need to be updated and be responded. Depending on the day, I have various meetings. It could range from morning stand-up, production meeting, hardware meeting, business update meeting, and or personal meetings with engineers that I'm working with for the current project. Today in the morning, I'm having a stand-up meeting with the production team for us to discuss about what each of our members are doing for the day and if there are any problems they need help with. The project I'm currently leading is to develop a test design for a microcontroller board for mass production. For today though, I'm specifically working on establishing a SPI communication between my Raspberry Pi and a microcontroller developed by one of our engineers. I've written a program in Python so far to send and display write signal and hex through UART. As you can see here, the oscilloscope shows that the UART signal gave me a response of FF in hex, which is equivalent to 8 ones in binary. Reading from a lookup table given, I can tell that the command sent through UART has been confirmed to be in correct format with no errors. However, I'm having an issue here on the SPI line where I'm receiving no signal at all, which is strange. And so I'm currently trying to debug what the issue here is. So far, I think I debug one of the issue which could have been a problem here, which is the command send, which may have not been correct. But based on the feedback of the UART, there is no problem with the command at all. Afterwards, when the clock hits around 12pm, I go down to the office to Waterloo and get lunch. I usually go to Lower Marsh, which is a spot where there are food vendors of various cuisines. It's super cheap to get as it costs around £6 and it's actually surprisingly pretty decent for a meal. Then I go back to a big meeting room to eat with the company employees. However, I decided today that I'll be having some Korean food instead. So what I'm having here is a spicy codfish soup and it's super delicious. Just look at it. Wow. Whew. I personally don't like to eat fish, but damn, this dish is good and healthy. By that time, I go back up after an hour lunch. I'll have another meeting with the hardware engineer and production team where both teams discuss and explain what they have been doing for the past week. It is an update for both teams and for us to see where our progress are, and update any hardware changes, procurement or problems that has arisen that need change. It gives us a chance to see the big picture and get help from others if needed. Afterwards, I just go on the day with my project that I'm currently assigned to lead to give an overview of what kind of things I do. I've been using all kinds of tools at my disposal to progress my project forward. These ranges from using an oscilloscope to read signals, a voltmeter to test connectivity, and all desoldering equipments to populate chips, headers, and further I use to create my own makeshift jumper wires for an interface between the female headers of the microcontroller and the Raspberry Pi pins. The makeshift jumper wires are not that reliable, but will do for the proof of concept. Programming tools I have used so far have been mostly Python for serial communication and creating test design and a program called Altium to look at microcontroller PCB layout. Later on though, I'll be developing a PCB interface between the Raspberry Pi and the microcontroller using the Altium designer program. And the rest is just a lot of research, reading and documentation for the project. Of course, I don't just work 8 hours straight. I do have breaks time to time, eating fruits, be on my phone, talk to my colleagues, have a chat with other engineers, you know, just to get my mind off things when I'm stuck. By then, the clock is around 5.30pm and I pack up and ready to get home. And yeah, that's my whole day working as a junior electronics engineer. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys stay tuned for more engineering content in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.